In the world where electric motorcycles are mainly regarded as economic vehicles, Da Vinci Company has created a model with breathtaking speed and acceleration parameters. The Da Vinci DC100 is a performance electric motorbike that goes 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3 seconds. Such acceleration comes courtesy of a 100 kilowatt electric motor. The DC100 bike peaks at 124 miles per hour and has an average effective range of 230 miles. Compatible with a level 3 DC fast charger, the Da Vinci motorbikes can be fully charged in just 30 minutes. Designed specifically to providing a thrilling riding experience, this model has a sharp throttle that delivers instant adaptable acceleration. The creators of this vehicle like to refer to it as a robotic motorcycle. The main reason for this title is a set of high-tech sensors that analyze the riding environment at all times and adjust motor power accordingly. The motorcycle also has several ride modes, hill start assist control, downhill assist control, a combined braking system, traction control, as well as a kinetic energy recovery system that can charge the battery on the go. The owners of DaVinci bikes also get a dedicated phone app for all trip information, vehicle information, GPS, and navigation. All these features with high performance make the DC100 a complete package. The fans of classic models could also opt in for the DC classic modification. There will be only 50 units of this less futuristic bike produced. Dab Motors is yet another emerging manufacturer that is planning on bringing their electric motorcycle in the near future. The Concept E is their vision of an e-bike of tomorrow. Made with a very minimalistic design idea, Concept E is light, agile, and futuristic. The Concept E was created at a zero emission alternative to a 125cc commuter bike. Powered by a 51.8 volt, 4.7 kilowatt hour battery pack, the bike can last 68 miles between charges, which is plenty for urban riding. The installed 10 kilowatt electric motor is capable of providing electrified sprints to the top speed of 65 miles per hour. The model also received a series of premium components, namely carbon fiber inserts, an Olin suspension, CNC aluminum brakes, and a Gates belt drive that is known for its silent operation. Concept E aesthetics was also enhanced by front and rear LED lights and LED speedometer that is integrated in traditional tank position and also acts as small storage. Dab's simplistic approach toward Concept E has given it a very clean and elegant look worthy of attracting attention. The silent alarm by one of the most reputed European customization shops, JVB Motto, is the first custom live wire motorcycle commissioned by Harley Davidson. With a requirement to have a custom signature JVB Motto design, Harley put no restrictions whatsoever, and the results speak for themselves. The silent alarm customized by the JVB Motto is a piece of motorcycling art. It has a sleek design with a fiberglass fuel tank, a custom made seat, a new tail unit, as well as a stealthy looking alloy wheels. With the matte black body color, the brightly colored tank and white stickers appear to be more striking. In terms of performance upgrades, the Silent Alarm received Pro Brake Lever Front Stoppers, Performance Machine Grips, and Sports Evolution Mono Shocks. All in all, the Silent Alarm gets a very stealthy look with attention-seeking details. Given the insane love that this custom vehicle has gotten from motorcycling enthusiasts, JVB Moto now plans to sell custom live wires in the US for about $20,000. Emula 1 provides a completely different experience from what you can ever expect from an electric motorcycle. Its creators promote the idea of imitating fuel-powered bikes on electric-powered motorcycles. By using an innovative technology called the McFly Core, the e-bike model can replicate the endothermic performance on EVs. In other words, with Emula 1, you can drive an electric vehicle that would perform just like a conventional ICE bike. It's a very exciting technology that could be either used for educational purposes or for the nostalgia-stricken riders that want to relieve the emotions of riding motorcycles that no longer exist. With a big color touchscreen on the dash, riders can choose between a large variety of bike behaviors that include 200cc, two-strokes, 800cc, twin engines, from the 80s or more modern 600cc inline fours. 
With the help of a sound system and subwoofers, the bike would imitate the noise and vibration of a conventional bike. While well, a hydraulic clutch lever with a gear shift connected to a potentiometer would enable the feeling of real-life gear changes. This unconventional idea from Emula 1 keeps the past alive without destroying the future. This electric scooter was unveiled last year. In case you missed it, here is a small recap. The name of this bike is translated from Swedish as Spoon, which is a weird hint of remarkable versatility of the model. There are two versions of the Osa that allow classifying the moped under two classes. The light is juiced by a 5 horsepower motor and a 1.5 kilowatt hour battery, while the Plus model cranks up the output to 13 HP and increases the battery capacity to 2.5 kilowatt hour which allows to keep the range above the 50 mile mark. The Osa gets over 1,000 accessories and it can be easily customized to perform any task. This year, this model was used to build a custom motorbike that could handle a variety of urban mobility tasks flawlessly. The Hooky Ant is an aftermarket kit that includes customizable body panels, LED lights, fat tires, a battery basket, and a backpack option. Despite looking like a decent urban commuting vehicle, this model also features 14-inch Bridgestone tires, thus making it a suitable companion for short sprints through the woods. Omega Motors is a San Francisco-based company that has decided to give a classic bike from the previous century a new life and a modern powertrain. Their 1975 Honda CB200 project aimed at producing an EV while maintaining the original design. The company managed to fit a new electric motor and a 1.6 kilowatt hour battery unit without completely changing the bike's aesthetics. They installed the battery pack in the old engine bay and placed a motor right below it. The charging plug is hidden under the original fuel cap. To keep the spirit of the model, they also kept the original parts, including the switches and analog speedometer. The CB200 runs on a single electric motor that produces 5 kilowatt nominal and 10 kilowatt peak power. The installed battery pack can provide an estimated range of 30 miles. Unlike many short-range e-bikes out there, this model is capable of reaching the top speed of 60 miles per hour. This conversion project is a must-see for any EV enthusiast. Omega's ability to revive the golden age of bikes with modern-day tech is an idea worth following. Oregon Motorcycles' new approach towards electric vehicles is completely different from traditional EV manufacturers. While most companies out there are focused on selling their EVs, Oregon focuses on lending it. Their new business concept is to manufacture and lend electric motorcycles to both individuals and businesses. Electric bikes have proved to be great vehicles for short distance commuting and last mile delivery, although there is only one thing that stops them from going universal. It's the limited range. Oregon motorcycles seem to have found a solution for this issue. Their models have easily removable batteries. With the ability to swap batteries, riders can immediately restore a battery to a fully charged condition on Oregon stations. Their built-in GPS tracking system allows cooperation for easier fleet management, and 4G integration enables over-the-air upgrades. According to Oregon, the rental offers the best value with the lowest operation cost. Initially known as NXT Motors, the Netherlands-based EV company called Solid EV Rides is back with news about their upcoming model. It'll be called the CRS-01. The motorcycle is to be based on a monocoque frame that will be holding its major components, an electric motor controllers and a 21.5 kilowatt hour battery pack. Solid is given the CRS-01, a design characterized by sharp lines and similar to boxy vehicles of the previous century. Since the battery packs are at the base of the motorcycle, all the weight is focused at the center of this model, thus achieving a very low center of gravity. Having a centralized battery setup also gives CRS an especially slim body design, which reduces drag and improves overall vehicle dynamics. 
Solid has not yet released any information about the vehicle's specifications. We can only anticipate the official release. Despite this, the company is pretty confident in their product and are hoping to impress the crowds with an environmentally friendly motorcycle that also happens to have great power, speed, and range. What are your thoughts about the presented electric vehicle lineup? Which one is your top pick? Answer these questions in the comments below and support the electric revolution by liking this video. By subscribing to the channel, you will always get notified about new EV videos. So smash that red button and ring the bell without hesitation. See you later.